Hey everybody, this is my 125 gallon native tank and a few days ago I shot a video where I was talking about my crayfish in this tank and how I wasn't able to find it. I did see a little piece of carapace and I thought perhaps the crayfish had sloughed and was simply hiding. But the more I looked, the more I decided that is not the case. What I think I was seeing was a piece of carapace from the original crayfish that was in here. I had two. One sloughed, and while it was a soft shell, the second one killed the first one. And I think what I was seeing was a little bit of the remains of the original carapace of that first one that is no longer with us. But I looked over, and lo and behold, there she is. So the crayfish that I was not entirely sure about, whether it was still in the tank or not, is still in here. She's right there but has not changed size or coloration or anything so I'm pretty sure she did not slough and what we were seeing was actually just the uh, slough from the original crayfish the other one that was in here so that's all I wanted to do was just shoot a quick update I know there was a few people that were concerned about whether or not this crayfish was even still in here but she is I saw her walking around this morning but by the time I got to my camera and got back she was gone um, you know hiding under the rocks or something. I couldn't see her, but I knew she was alive as of this morning And now it's official. We've actually got her on video again uh, Quick side note while I'm looking at it. You see the stuff that I wedged underneath of a rock It's still wedged under the rock, but you can see it's been chopped right off uh, The stuff back there is little new growth coming up out of the ground Likewise, you can see where it was cut off so that is from the crayfish. That's, you know, how much they eat vegetation. They've actually, or she, I should say, the one that's in here, this one right here, has actually cropped that off, probably literally cut it with its claws and removed it and then held onto it and munched away. And that's why I had so many pieces of it floating in the tank. Uh, I did remove them. I took all the ones that were floating and again decided if they weren't able to root in and get going then just to heck with it they were going to come out of the tank and I wasn't going to worry about it. Um, again the weather is getting warmer. I will be getting outdoors here in the very near future so hopefully we will be looking at getting some stock in the tank. I still don't know exactly what's going to go in here. Um, it'll be exciting, it'll be interesting and it'll be fun. Uh, I guess it's about getting about time I need to start getting in here and worrying about little guys like this this is the mud sunfish I'm pretty sure this is a mud sunfish I never did hear back from the guy at the Department of Natural Resources so I'm not really entirely sure you know what's going on he never responded he never verified that it was indeed this the mud sunfish and he never verified whether or not he would take it because he originally told me if it was a mud sunfish I could simply give it to them and they would see to it that it got rehomed properly in a you know in a sufficient location. So I'll get back in touch with him. I'm not in any hurry. Again, I haven't even you know I was out again today looking. Uh, there is not so much as a sign of any fish yet, and it's only the first week in March or so. So you know we got a little ways to go before we get into the good stuff. But pretty soon I'll be getting out and we'll be getting some more crayfish and the action and the drama will pick back up. And again, I might even just decide to leave this mud sunfish in here. It's not a very attractive sunfish, but it doesn't get very big either. So it might be an interesting uh, addition, if not a flashy one. So thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed. I got tons of stuff going on. Uh, it's hit or miss with my videos. Some days I upload a bunch of them. Other days I don't really feel like doing any at all. So if you're subscribed, you'll get them all no matter when and how often I put them out. So thanks again for watching this one. Don't forget this is my native tank. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you real soon on the next one.